सर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग बस मैं आपको ही ढूंढता था मैं बोला आप आऊ जस्ट वेट फॉर फाइव मिनट जी सर एंड देन बी स्टार्ट How is the preparation for uh, election? All fine. I'm doing it, sir. Everyone messages, phone, and uh, communication. I'm doing it and request it. Everyone. Pura pura west west zone ka hai to har ek state mein alag alag logon ko communication kar raha. Election will start from ten. सितंबर तो तीन सितंबर ऑनलाइन वोट ऑनलाइन वोटिंग है ऑनलाइन है गुड इवनिंग आई सॉरी आप आप सबका सपोर्ट रहा तो बात बन जाएगी कोई बड़ी बात अरे ना हो जाएगी गुड इवनिंग अंकल भाई का अगर थोड़ा हो गया सपोर्ट सब तो बस हो गया अंकल सर ज्वाइन हो गए क्या हाँ पंकज इज जॉन पंकज आई एम देयर आई एम लिसनिंग आपने मुझे किंग दिया ना आई यू नो नावड इज इन सम केसेस आई हैव टू पंकज बाय जॉइन वेरी हार्डली सो आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट केसेस वेर हीज इंटरेस्ट इज देयर गुड इट्स अ गुड लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस यस जॉइन योर ब्रदर या नॉट ओनली दैट एंड we are also learning emphasize how to teach yeah we are learning from their answers and we are learning how to teach also true and now you, you have got a pankaj you have to uh, real uh, you know uh, challenges because from this year you have got a student so two students sir <laughs> two students. no no that's a great thing great achievement i will say to become a teacher mentor is a great achievement It's a very different feeling. Correct, correct. You see, and uh, though though I have been say nearly like a teacher at JJ, but correct. student, up to name for Huna, and you have to just teach. करने में काफी फर्क है सब. Correct. Haan only haan. I I believe only in one thing. You know, earlier we used to have gurus. Hmm. So, like students, they used to go to. Uh, ashram whether he was uh, king like he was a prince or whatever it was and the character was developed it was True. not a pure tuition the character so i believe in the same thing as a teacher you know you should develop the character of your student mm. not only just uh, theoretical knowledge or practical knowledge they should become a good human being and good uh, urology उटिया सो आई डों and uh, i just discuss with the student about oski because even if there is no oski this year at least in on table as a table viva or even the case presentation this will be a very helpful to them yes true sir 
because last time like that stone crusher you know the one of the instrument which is not seen by the student it was kept and we had a discussion about that mm. so uh, something like this come they should not make any blunder and they you know they should be able to answer so that is the purpose absolutely another thing i have seen is that uh, some students are always eager to answer and there are some students who are not uh, you know they participate in this meeting but uh, they are not uh, eager to answer so mm. i request all the students what you think you unless and until they answer their vocabulary and uh, the presence of mind it will not develop correct absolutely so the, the uh, primary purpose of uh, starting this uh, platform is to expose such people only exactly because they if they answer here with n number of mistakes also they don't have any lo loss correct so they should come forward and try to answer uh, the questions different player, people are uh, uh, should be answered on different, <laughs> different uh, times because usually three yeah. four people same people will come and they will try to answer as well and i i have seen that those who are regularly answering you know they are also improving you have they have knowledge but they don't know how to present it true sir so we will have this uh, one oski and i think one more oski we will have then we will have uh, three cases where we have got uh, uh, superficial bladder tumor then uh, muscle invasive and third is metastatic you know so three cases we have uh, selected so after this oski is over we will have you know uh, presentation of three three cases till dnb exam come abhishek abhi exam kab hoga tentative uh sir good evening sir sir exam most probably september uh, second year mid mein hona chahiye sir okay abhi theory ke results aane hain idhar se kuch notification aaya nahi theory ka result lagne ke baad mein hoga sir ha sir ha sir okay i think we have got a good forum and we'll start so okay. who are answering this uh, this time uh, doc sir i am answering sir okay abhishek who else doctor amit doctor abhishek and doctor ojesh okay fine okay start abhishek sir aap okay so we wait for 2 minutes it is 2 10 uh, and 9 10 we'll wait for 2 minutes and then we'll uh, ask question
Okay, Abhishek, you are through. Yes, sir. Okay, and I request all those who are participating, please take uh, paper and pen, and in these two minutes, try to write down all the answers. So that will help you to finish your answers in exam. Fine. Okay, go ahead. Um. So the first question: What is the diagnosis? So, sir, the most probably the diagnosis is uh, posterior urethral valve. Uh, with uh, I think sir there is some bladder neck uh, contracture also sir there is a dilated posterior urethra and uh, yes sir so most probably sir posterior urethral wall uh, name one differential diagnosis uh, most probably sir uh, the uh, most commonest DD will be urethral atresia sir and uh, it can also be urethral stricture but that is less common sir. What will be the management of a six-month-old child? So, sir, the six-month-old child may present with uh, sepsis and, uh, uh, sir, electrolyte imbalance. And, uh, sir, the primary management will be, sir, management of uh, uh, infection and electrolyte correction and followed by uh, cystoscopy and uh, posterior urethral valve fulguration, sir. Uh, what will be the finding on antenatal sonography? Sir, the most typical finding on ant uh, sonography is uh, keyhole sign, sir. And uh, yes, rather than that, uh, uh, antenatal sonographic findings may be, sir, uh, uh, hydronephrosis, hydroureter may be there, sir. And uh, th uh, bladder wall may be thickened, sir. Uh, but uh, most commonly, sir, the keyhole sign is seen. And what will be the long-term problem, sir? The long-term problem most commonly is uh, a condition called as valve bladder syndrome, sir, which is uh, pro progressive uh, deterioration in renal function in spite of uh, primary management of posterior urethral valve, sir. Mm, okay, what is the diagnosis? Now, on, just describe this uh, x-ray. Uh, what no, you so, sir, this, uh, yes, sir, sir, the bladder has been filled with uh, dye, sir. Most probably this appears to be a micturating cystoerythrogram, sir, uh, VCUG. And, sir, it shows a bladder filled with contrast. The bladder wall appears smooth, sir. And uh, there is a small... Uh, mm, uh, I'm not sure, sir. There is a, a bladder neck contracture also, and there is dilatation of posterior urethra, sir. And the dye has not uh, passed into the anterior urethra, sir. Abhishek, what do you mean by contracture? Uh, sir, there is uh, narrowing at the level of bladder neck, sir. So contracture is a specific term used for when there is a narrowing related to scarring. Okay. So is this contracture? I can't comment on the X-ray, sir. That I can't comment on the X-ray. So will you no. be calling it as contracture? You, you will be calling it as thickened bladder neck or hypertrophic bladder neck? Hypertrophic. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So okay. what are the consequences of posterior thermal? Is the contractor or it is the hypertrophic bladder neck? Uh, sir, it should be hypertrophic bladder neck sir, because the bladder has to push with... Uh, the detrusor has to push with more pressure because of the presence of uh, valves, sir. So, this is a common thing. If the patient has undergone surgery like TURP, then you can say it is a bladder neck contractor. But in okay. children, so terminology is very important. So, what is that uh, dye seen outside? Outside the compound of the on the left hand side of the urethra. Can you see there is a bladder, then there is urethra and... Yes, sir. So what do you think? What it is? I'm not sure, sir. Is it a well done MCU? What would be the position in maturating cystoethrogram or uh, uh, voiding cystoethrogram? Sir, it is usually uh, erect, sir, standing. Um, or supine, no. sir. No. Uh, I think, like uh, ascending urethrography, like we give position, it's a little oblique. 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 It's a little It is never head on AP. Yeah. Right. Okay. And again, the penis needs to be pulled or stretched to one side. This is the reason it is looking absolutely S curve. The bulbar yeah, urethra is a very dramatic S curve. Hai. 
that is because the position is not correct yes okay and outside what you see is the extra budget means the uh, micturated uh, probably the dye you know which has been collected on the right hand yes, side sir because sir oh, i'm not able to correlate that uh, uh, contrast extra session with the now the... can you see if you just make it enlarge can you see the full posterior ray is dilated up to bulbo uh, bulbo ray and then uh, there is a very thin uh, stream stick of uh, urethra as dr pankaj maheshwari has said it is not uh, uh, pulled the penis is not pulled so the anterior urethra can you see the small stick which is going mm, yes sir and then the dye yes, is coming out yeah dr gite what is your comment on this and what will be the differential diagnosis yeah dr gite sir bolo Uh, the position for micturating cystorthrogram is same like uh, retrorthrogram. Uh, right. That is forty-five uh, degree oblique position. Me hi karna hai, lying down me hi karna. Micturating me usually no one will do the micturating cystorthrogram in uh, standing position. So RUG and MCU both can be done in same sitting and in same position. Whatever the position given for RUG can be uh, should be used for uh, micturating cystorthrogram. And penis uh, placed laterally over the thigh or slightly stretched over over, over the thigh so that that angle of yes should be straightened, and there should not be any confusion between the stricture or angulation uh, caused by that uh, yes yes shaped curve natural yes shaped curve. Uh, another thing is the contrast what is seen outside the uh, lining of the posterior urethra is uh, taken a uh, ad shape of probably diverticulum it is not it doesn't look like extra ossation here and there so that particularly that may be extra ossation but localized in particular area and looking like a diverticulum so another differential diagnosis with this picture can be a posterior diverticulum uh another thing is uh, that uh, bladder neck contraction that that term should be used like the shouldering of the bladder neck posterior okay. uh, bladder bladder neck shouldering because there is the distance between the start of the prostatic urethra and bladder there is uh, adequate uh, due to thickening there is a shoulder like thing <clears throat> that is called as a shouldering of the bladder neck so that's what i feel sir fine so the i think differential diagnosis will be another will be the uh, urethral congenital urethral uh, stricture along with this valve sir us uh, congenital anterior wall congenital posterior wall congenital uh, primary kya bolte hain usko in this patient there is there is no there is no vasculatory reflux so there is 50% cases of posterior wall associated with bilateral heva in limited film what was shown there is no heva right. so there are chances that it may be posterior wall it may not be posterior wall and the dilated urethra is usually at the prostatic urethra not going towards the vulvar urethra in so case of the posterior wall that that is localized of fusiform dilatation sorry globular globular dilatation it is not fusiform dilatation going transversing through the membrane membranous urethra touching to the vulvar urethra as a dilatation usually posterior wall me rehta nahi it looks right. like a globular and in particularly in that prostatic urethra only so that is another contradictory finding no no right. you are dilatation longitudinal dilatation reaching to the bulbar urethra these are two contradictory finding for diagnosis of the uh, posterior wall Post but still posterior wall is a primary first diagnosis another diagnosis in this picture is uh, uh, posterior diverticulum then uh, congenital uh, urethral structures and anterior wall another differential diagnosis because bulbar urethra come come uh, labeled as anterior urethra so the wall in the bulbar urethra there are reported very rarely bulbar urethra penile urethra congenitally that can be another differential diagnosis and uh, abhishek what are the different uh, findings antenatal in sonography you must start also with the amniotic fluid 
so you should write down 1 2 3 4 all right sir um so uh, sir okay. i'm i'm no yes sir dekho you are you are you are commenting on the antenatal uh, sonography there is a three four things bilateral hydrotonephrosis definitely there should be bilateral hydrotonephrosis definitely there is a dilated posterior urethra looking like a keyhole definitely there is oligohydramnus and bladder wall thickness bladder wall thickness it is a thick wall bladder dilated yes, thickened sir. bladder with bilateral hydrotonephrosis dilated posterior urethra and oligohydramnus all three findings should be told when the question asked is what is the findings on antenatal sonography and the last question is what will be the long term problem so what are the long term problems and complications so uh, sir, so the long term yeah one first is uh, most commonly wild bladder syndrome sir dekho so i had, I, had, i had the end of 25 year with all type of adequate treatment which is which is available all over the world near about 25% patient had a renal failure so end yes. end end result of this pathology is uh, esrt in 25% cases this is the only disease in neurology which involves all the systems probably associated with congenital a number of congenital anomalies we are bladder dysfunction wall bladder syndrome then renal failure ye, ye sab cheeze usme ho sakte hai so two things there should be you should label long term problem wall bladder syndrome and renal failure that is ultimately esrt so you can talk about urine tract in long term urine tract infection neurogenic bladder and uh, end stage renal disease in this agrets yeah so point wise you know you have to you have got only one supplement and can answer okay right. any other question uh, maheshwari ji you want to add any question to this no sir i think that's quite fair yeah because no the question we, we don't know what questions will be asked on this you know uh, fine i think only one more question will be how will you manage this uh, yes sir uh, sir so management sir uh, the baby may present with uh, uti and uh, sir gross electrolyte imbalances so sir to first that's right see you you may not have so much of time just tell me so the management of infection do yes, sir uh, it's very simple in one sentence you can yeah, finish yes sir i would say get should be like algorithm wise antenatal management postnatal management antenatal management so usme do line likhna hai wasa ko uterine scent ek ek likhna hai dusra postnatal management management of infection management of electrolyte imbalance management of renal failure aakar hai to pra then uske baad mein prognostic prognostic factors ke hisab se bad aur good hai wo samajh ke fir fulguration aur bad hai to fir wasa ko stam khatam ho gaya understood okay okay sir yes fine okay so we'll go for the next one so we will give you two minutes so 25 27 Abhishek, you are writing, na? Yes, sir. I've written, sir. Good, good.
Fine. Abhishek, you are ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Answer. Uh, what is the diagnosis, sir? This appears to be a distal penile hypospadia, sir. And, uh, uh, sir, what is the scoring system? The scoring system is, sir, a GMS scoring system, which is the glance or the urethral plate, meatus, and the shaft uh, scoring system, sir. Each has uh, four, four scores each. Uh, each. Each of the variables have four, four scores each, sir. Uh, what is the treatment in this case? So, sir, the treatment uh, overall involves uh, four major steps, sir. Uh, the first is the cordic correction. Next is the uh, uh, urethroplasty, glanuloplasty, meatoplasty, sir. In urethroplasty, options uh, uh, maybe, sir, snot gross repair, sir, transfer silent flap repair, or uh, magpie repair, sir. And uh, uh, yes, sir. And uh, what, what is the investigation for proximal hypospadias with null palpable testes? Yes, sir. So, uh, sir, the, uh, in this uh, particular condition is uh, indicative of, uh, sir, DSD. So, uh, sir, uh, karyotyping is mandated. And along with that, sir, ultrasound, uh, uh, ultrasound of the abdomen is to be done, sir. And uh, diagnostic lab is to be done, sir. Okay. Gita, sir. The diagnosis is already the hypospheres in the last question only they asked. Okay. So, but you said what it is distal. Yes, sir. See properly where it is. Where is the gland? Uh, sir, I'm a little unclear between uh, distal penile and coronal, sir. Mm, it is distal penile or mid penile. Appears distal penile. So, sir. so, so uh, divide that uh, penis into three parts that is mid, part. and proximal penile. And uh, from coronal sulcus to the uh, hypospadic meatus, uh, there is adequate uh, uh, shaft that is distal shaft. So, it is at the junction mm -hmm. of distal penile and mid penile. So, if you call it as mm -hmm. mid penile also, uh, no one can blame you. Uh, while okay. uh, while uh, checking the patient of hypospadias, three, four important things. One is the hood. So hood. The, the, the hood is adequate or not. Another thing is the uh, uh, glance. What is the size of the glance? Then another thing is the uh, proposed uh, meatus. The meatus area hai, jo aage chalke, meatus banne wala hai, wo area. It is a flat, glanular, having some depth, no depth. Then uh, third is urethral plate. So urethral plate, it is a if urethral plate is flat, urethral plate is grooved, urethral plate is the width, width of the urethral plate and depth of the urethral plate. Uh, then uh, hypospadic meatus, is it a uh, pin pinhole meatus, is it a wide open meatus? Then surrounding skin of the uh, uh, penis, is it a flex, is it, it is a pliable, then uh, soft. Uh, then uh, any scars uh, with pre previous surgery, this is a primary, but you have to see in all these things inside the skin. Then uh, another thing is the thing is uh, uh, bilateral testes. So the pre prepucial hood, glance, plate, hypospadic meatus, testes, surrounding skin uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the penis as well as the, the scrotum. These all things. Uh, should be seen and described while diagnosing the hypospadias. So scoring system, the scoring system, again, you were told, uh, correctly told, it is depend upon the uh, size of the glance and your plate. That is uh, one, one score. Another is meatus and another is uh, shaft. So uh, as far as shaft is concerned, it is a uh, uh, scoring is depend upon the amount of cardi. So no cardi, zero, mild cardi, moderate cardi, severe cardi, less than 30, 30 to 60, more than 60, that is one, two, three, four. These are the four points. Meatus, glanular, coronal, mid penile, distal penile, and proximal. These are one, two, three, four. Again, four parts. Then glance. Uh, above, uh, above average glance, average glance, small glance, and very small glance. Again, one, two, three, four, four. Four points. So four, 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 it is 12 points. So this case, they have given a grading. If you grading, how much grade is, how much surgery is, how much grade is, how much grade is, how much impact prognostic is, how important you have to read it. Dusra baat hai treatment. So usually uh, after uh, again another another one point I have forgotten is amount of the spongiosa. Um, um, amount of the spongiosa developed distal to the meatus proximal to the bifurcation of spongiosa. Where is the bifurcation of spongiosa? That is very important thing. If it is well developed right up to the 
glands with adequate plate, the best surgery is in such type of patient is not grass repair. With adequate urethral, adequate brood urethral plate with well developed spongiosa, best surgery in this patient is snowed grass repair. In, the, in this patient particular, the urethral plate is very flat. Okay, there is no grood urethral plate. And it looks like a skin with in between some uh, congenital fibrous bands. Uh, the, because there are three points. One is a natural meatus point in between one red point and another is one proximally hypospadiac point. So in this patient uh, treatment, uh, if someone asks, then one is the snodgrass repair. Another is uh, if someone feels that this plate is superficial and not good, then anterior only flap. That is in spite of decade to that, that is decade only flap. Another and third is the stage repair. So these three three operations definitely fit uh, for this such type of patients. Then proximal hypospadias with non-palpable test is diagnostic laparoscopy and MRI is the best investigation both. And uh, and uh, investigation hormonal investigation for manage, uh, diagnosis of the DSD type of DSD. So these are the things to be told. I feel said uh, uh, while replying such questions. Any doubt? Please anybody can ask. I think Doctor Gipte has covered very nicely, and but you must write down point wise. Okay. Yes. yes. In exam, yes, you can answer. Okay. So whatever asked in that question, you have to tell that that particular point only. No yeah. theoretical business. Yes. Fine. Okay. So any other question to be asked? I think everything is covered in this slide. Okay. Then we'll go to the next one. Hmm? So Abhishek is answering, or who else is answering now? Yes, Doctor Gitte, Amit has Sir. asked. Amit has asked a question. I will reply, sir. We will uh, we will go ahead. I will reply. Okay. Reply. Okay. Fine. Next. Who is answering now? Uh, I am answering. Dr. Amit. Dr. Amit. Okay. Amit. Okay. Show. So, it is 9.35. Two minutes. Okay, Amit? Yes, sir. Write down your answer. Okay, Amit, you are ready? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So this is trans obturator uh, tape uh, device. And uh, indication, it's indication indicated in uh, female uh, stress urinary incontinence. And uh, three complication uh, while inserting, there is a uh, bladder injury. Uh, second one is uh, uh, um, mass erosion and uh, uh, third one is infection okay so <clears throat> question number one 
identify the instrument so tell us the parts of what are the parts uh, uh, there is a polypropylene mesh and uh, the uh, uh, needle device sir how do you differentiate between tbt and tbt Uh, I have no idea, sir. I think that uh, is vertically curved, sir. Anteriorly, uh, TVT needle. One is a C-shaped needle, and one is a more circular needle. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. When you say among the complications, the commonest complication, which is the commonest complication? So bladder uh, injury. No, is that the commonest? The commonest is retention of urine. Okay, sir. Huh. Check for again, but to whatever I remember, I think the commonest complication is retention of urine. Yes, sir. Post procedure. Yes, sir. Okay. So, a bladder injury is rather reasonably rare. It was more common in TVT, less common in TOT. Okay. See, Dr. Maheshwari is 100% right. Yes. Because the chances of, because you are not going from the side, na? Yes, sir. Of the bladder. You are not coming up. So the chances, yes, you can say during both the surgery, the chances of uh, urethral injury is also there. Maybe remote, but it is there. Yes. So let us, uh, I, as you are talking about, so what are the different methods to treat stress urinary incontinence? Can you enumerate? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, the, uh, in uh, female, there is a, uh, a transobturator tip and a trans uh, vaginal tip. Uh, yeah. And uh, so one is the so this is the mid urethral sling. Yes, sir. Mid urethral sling. Second. Second, sir. Intra urethral uh, device, sir. That intra urethral plug. Then a female, in a female stress urinary incontinence related to the procedure, which are the uh, other, other procedures? What we used to do earlier? Sir, I have no idea. You don't know all the different repairs? No, sir. Cystocell repair, Kelly's repair, MMK repair. Yes, sir. So, there are series of uh, repairs earlier. And then the new concept came that the problem is not at the bladder neck. Yes, the sir. problem is at the mid urethra. And that is how this uh, procedure has come into the picture. Okay. So it started with STEMI's uh, procedure yeah. where a STEMI's needle was used and proline suture was used. Okay. And then came TVT and then TOT. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, when, if suppose somebody asks you a broad, uh, uh, say, treatment of uh, uh, SUI, then uh, uh, other than surgery, you should also talk about the vaginal uh, physiotherapy weight loss. Yes. Tell you Yes. And yes, the new devices that you just mentioned. Yes, sir. What is that device? Mm, the name I forgot, sir. And some urethral plug is there, sir. Yes. It is a very interesting concept that it has, it's, uh, it has a magnet. And the lady is supposed to keep a magnet inside the undergarment. So because of that magnet, that plug will come and block the urethra. Yes. And whenever the undergarments are removed, so the magnet goes away, so that plug floats away from the bladder neck, and then she's able to pass urine. And yes. once the device is placed, it can stay in for a period of three to six weeks.
Uh, sir, what are we waiting for? Gorang bhai? Mere khal se sir. Uh, no, I, sorry, I was, I was muted. Sir. No, I, I want to ask him one more question. That Name all the complications. Just name all the complications. Sir, urinary retention, uh, mass erosion, uh, no, infection. For intra-op and then post-op. Here they are asked for the three complications. So talk yes, of sir. all the complications. Intra-op bleeding, uh, injury to the bladder, injury to the urethra, and uh, injury to the obturator vessels, and uh, uh, post-op uh, urinary retention, okay. mass erosion, and infections. Amit, it, it is a TOT or it is a TVT? TOT, sir. So, TOT is usually like, like this. Okay. And TVT is like this. Yes, sir. So it, go, it is going horizontal and parallel to the longitudinal axis of the urethra. So the yes. compression is less in TOT and it is going away from the urethra and away from the bladder. Yes. The chances of having urethral as well as bladder injury intraoperatively is very less in TOT compared to TVT. Yes, sir. Because TVT is going parallel to the bladder, parallel towards, parallelly and superiorly towards the bladder. Uh, Superior so, uh, hypogastric region and parallel to the bladder. That's why people used to place the cystoscope inside eye while passing the needle and see the yeah. see the direction of needle key where it is coming from. So the yeah. complication of bladder bladder injury is more common in TVT and vascular injury is more common in TOT. Okay. Baki rest complications, ur urethral erosions, mesh mes mes erosion, migration. Then tightening, retention. Yeah. So to avoid the retention, what the commonly uh, what we used to do, or people people used one to do, finger. is place one artery for artery for step inside the uh, yes. mesh and out in between the mesh and urethra yes. while tightening, so that there should not be uh, severe tightening of that urethra and compression of urethra to avoid the uh, acutal retention. So, suppose if the patient keeps on getting retention, yes, sir. then what will you do? Uh, first of all, uh, we will uh, that uh, uh, put the catheter and uh, drain the urine. Uh, if uh, still patient goes in the retention, then uh, we can... Uh, you mean that you uh, will keep the catheter a little longer, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Second? Second one, if the, still the patient goes in the re recurrent retention, then we can uh, cut the mesh... Uh, uh, in the center. So you want to cut the mesh or you want to remove the mesh? No, sir. Cut the mesh. Sir. What is an advantage? Sir, it can uh, release the pressure over the urethra, sir. No, but what is the difference between you remove the tape and uh, you cut the tape in between? Sir, uh, if we remove the uh, tape, then uh, patient will uh, go into the uh, that uh, stress urinary incontinence. If, if we cut the mesh, then uh, the compression from the side will be there only. From the mesh, there is some fibrosis will be there. So, so it, will, will, okay. it will maintain the uh, integrity. Uh, integrity due to adequate fibrosis developed parallel to the urethra and we have to just cut the mesh at the, at the 6 o'clock uh, 6 yes. o'clock position so that the incontinence treatment is there. In, in, there will not be incontinence as well as there will not be uh, retention. Retains. So your purpose will get sort. We will, will get sort in, if you cut the mesh. If you remove the mesh, then again there is patient may have stress uh, urinary incontinence. In, in, yes. Uh, yeah. So Amit, suppose if this patient develops uh, uh, infection and the pulse is uh, you know pouring out from the Supra-pubic region, uh, I'm sorry, not uh, from the uh, groin region from where the 
you know you insert it, this case okay yes sir fine now what you'll do sir i have to remove the all the mess sir and uh, 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 keep the wound open and uh, irrigate with the antibiotic solution and uh, allow uh, wound to secondary healing okay suppose you are doing tbt and yes, during sir. the procedure you see that you the, the tape has come out from the uh, bladder yes sir. now how many opening will be there uh, two opening sir very good so there will be two opening now what you will do so withdraw the mass and uh, again uh, reinsert uh, from the uh, lateral from the uh, previous entry sir and keep the catheter long periods how many days around 4 to 5 days sir 6 to 7 okay suppose both the side it has during tbt both the side uh, it has entered now what will do uh, we can uh, postpone the procedure uh, for 4 to 5 days no if both the side also you can do the same thing okay sir. once it comes out you can you know again keep the catheter a little longer and... okay sir. fine okay now let's go ahead for us next one so again 49 to 51 okay yes sir Yes, sir. You you are ready? Yes, sir. Okay, start. So patient with the sixty four year male patient with the uh, large uh, RCC with the uh, cavoatrial thrombus and without comorbidity, I will uh, assess uh, uh, assess him for the uh, any uh, metastasis is there or not. Then I will explain him. about that uh, the patient is suffering from the rcc with the uh, atrial thrombus uh, which uh, with uh, which is uh, operable and uh, and uh, that uh, the type of the operation he, he, he will require and uh, and i will uh, uh, prepare him the pre operatively with the Uh, cardiac assessment and uh, anesthetic uh, pre anesthetic checkup and uh, uh, like cardiac assessment 2d echo and uh, ecg and uh, cardiac fitness and uh, yeah, anesthetic uh, assessment uh, like uh, all the uh, blood investigation and uh, uh, bleeding profile and uh, i will counseling the patient with uh, uh, and uh, this type of uh, surgery will require the multimodal treatment and uh, uh, will require the cvt a surgeon also uh, for the removal of the uh, atrial thrombus and uh, patient will uh, need the uh, complete uh, diver uh, lead cardio pulmonary bypass cardio cardio pulmonary bypass uh, intra op and uh, uh, 
uh, the incision will be uh, uh, thoraco abdominal incision and uh, uh, if uh, uh, venous uh, uh, wall involvement is there then he will require the uh, uh, patch or uh, graft uh, repair one of the most With important the possible... and primary thing that you would do is the moment you diagnose somebody to having a, a intravascular thrombus the first thing to do is start him on antiplatelet agents yes we don't want him to form clots by the side of this thrombus means the tumor thrombus we don't want him to form blood clots yes okay and then you start evaluation Again, uh, see to it that all the investigations are very fresh. Sometimes these thrombus are known to uh, progress very, very rapidly. So yeah. the, uh, your uh, radiological investigation should be preferably when we call definitely not more than two weeks old. Yes, sir. You missed talking about arranging blood because this may be a supramajor. Obviously, it's a supramajor surgery. Supram. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, I think Baki is okay here. So you sir, will just uh, give a cardiac uh, uh, help for the cardiac part. The patient will be taken on cardiopulmonary bypass. And with the help of the cardiac surgeon, you would take care of the enteral thrombus. And from below, you will remove the uh, IVC and the thrombus from the, I mean, the kidney and the thrombus from the IVC. So, Amit. Yes. The, la uh, the last line is what? Mention at least six headings. Okay. And the yes, first sir. line is how will you proceed with the patient in OPD? So these are the two important things. Huh? Yes, sir. So what are the headings? And what do you do in the OPD? When the patient has come to you in OPD, now what is the first thing you will do? Uh, I will explain the patient. So my uh... story has already told you. So what are the things you will do in OPD? Sir, I will explain the patient uh, with uh, the disease he is suffering and the uh, available option and uh, uh, what are the investigations are remaining and uh, what type of uh, surgery. Sir, number one, will you, will you be doing the everything in OPD or you will immediately admit him? Yes, sir. I will advise him to admit uh, uh, as soon as possible, sir. And what about the mobilization? Sir, uh, it will uh, require the uh, liver mobilization. And, no, no, uh, no. You will you ask him to move around easily or you will tell him to restrict the movement? Rest, restrict the movement, sir. Now tell and, me the uh, head. And uh, starting on the low molecular weight heparin and yeah. uh, antiplatelet drugs. Okay. Sir, can we add the antiplatelet drugs? Uh, Why you want to start antiplatelet drugs? Uh, no, sir. Uh, we uh, I want to start only sir low molecular weight heparin. Good night. Second. And, so uh, what else you will do in OPD before you admit him? Sir, you will do all the investigation and as Dr. Pankaj Maheshwari said, if yes. the this investigation is not of the recent origin, you may repeat. Yes, sir. Within one week, uh, investigation should be there. So, first is you will go, you will start uh, uh, heparin. Right. Yes, sir. Now, second thing is? Sir, uh, avoid the uh, mobility. Heading, second heading. Second heading. Okay. Uh, then uh, right. cardiac fitness and uh, anesthetic uh, fitness. And uh, proper uh, that uh, lung expansion therapy. Instead so, of saying cardiac fitness, say cardiac evaluation. Cardiac evaluation. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. proper uh, lung breathing exercise mm -hmm. uh, preoperatively. And uh, intraoperatively, uh, uh, patient will require the uh, cardiopulmonary bypass. And uh, uh, patient... Uh, And uh, see, the question is outline the 
heading for assessment and counseling so six so, so four, i think or four you are going to write down four heading for assessment yes. and then two at least for the counseling yes sir so yeah so assessment tell us which are the heading sir uh, if metastatic assessment is not uh, done then so, yes. we'll do metastatic so assessment number one. okay yes, the sir. one is the metastatic uh, yes, assessment sir. second is then cardiac assessment sir uh, in form mm -hmm. of uh, ecg and 2d echo and if required uh, no, only ecg and 2d echo and uh, if required intra op uh, coronary angiography can be done why uh, i want to do angiography i can see no reason for coronary angiography amit yes, they sir. have asked us specifically six point you have to evaluate patient rcc large with arterial thrombus tumhare samne aaya hai so first is confirmation of diagnosis with yes. few investigations like extent of thrombus kya hai yes, ye sir. karna hai to uske liye transesophageal echo and mri mr venograph ye do cheeze karna hai confirm karne ke liye agar sach mein hai ki nahi hai dekhne ke liye yes, wo sir. ek cheez hoga confirmation of diagnosis Dus second point confirmation of metastasis is there metastasis or not tisra yes. point preparation of the surgery fourth yes. point counseling of the need type and complication need of the surgery type of the surgery complication oblique benefit of surgery fourth point then fifth point type of surgery then sixth yes. point assistance required intraoperatively Seventh point complication of surgery, and eight point success of surgery. Yes, sir. उसने जो पूछा है उतने है बताना है. उसने six point बताया तो six point में बताओ ना. क्यों इधर उधर describe करते बैठो बैठो. उसमें दो दो point लिखना है. Counseling counseling का point मैंने जो बताया उसमें counseling आ गया type of surgery आ गई सब आ गए. Uh, you are to tell them the type of surgery that you will require a bypass also, na? Yes, sir. Ha, hundred percent. Radical so radical also... nephrectomy with the removal of arterial thrombus with cardio pulmonary bypass using the uh, with the help of uh, CVT surgery. Yes, or CVT and, and, and tell them that we will not only arrange for the blood. You will also arrange for the pl fresh pl frozen plasma and platelets also. You understand? Yes, sir. Because patient may develop DIC. Yes. Sir. You are going to use lots of heparin because you are going to put the patient on a bypass. Yes. And one more thing is you may auto blood transfusion. So that also you can uh, do whatever you know blood loss is there. You can use it again for the patient. Yes, sir. So all these things. So but that will come only in one heading, in the blood. Yes. Blood product yes. in the blood product preparation of blood product. requirement All of blood products yes. required. Okay. Yes. Fine. Okay. Paras, the next one. So it is ten to till ten four.
Okay, Amit, you are ready? Yes, sir. Start. So the studies of open uh, the the studies uh, maturating or avoiding cystourethrogram with the uh, retrograde uh, urethrogram. And diagnosis is pelvic fracture urethral uh, dissection defect. Uh, management of this case by the uh, transecting uh, urethroplasty. And uh, most difficult part, uh, sir, I don't know. I think Dr. Gite will be the best person to take your uh, exam on this or to answer. Dr. Gite. Uh, it is a combined widening sister orthogram and retro orthogram on another second film. And first film, it is a widening sister orthogram. Uh, on first film, the contrast is uh, reaching, uh, entering inside the posterior urethra uh, with uh, probably. Narrowing oblique extra, external luminal compression at the level of bladder neck and uh, contrast is not reaching to the bulbar urethra. So, this is finding on first film. Uh, fracture, I cannot comment on fracture because it is not seen clearly. That it, there is a need of a plain film. Another film, it is a combined retroorthogram and uh, uh, widening cystorthogram. There is a urethral distraction defect at the level of uh, bulbar urethra, proximal bulbar urethra. And uh, rest of the urethra and bladder is normal. And there is no vasoclitic reflux and no any visible fracture. Or in second film, there, you can comment, there is superior bibigram of left side doubtful fracture. Uh, third is, uh, how will you manage this case? It is a progressive perineal urethroplasty will be the answer, not it is a transacting post progressive perineal orthoplasty. And uh, last question, what is the most difficult uh, part of the surgery is identification of the posterior urethra and uh, gaining the length of the urethra. These are the two steps which is difficult in such type of patients. Okay. I mean, then you are put on ice with the put you So the another the last one is that if uh, we have to preserve at least one bulbar artery. So if you damage both the sides, then what will happen is the bulbar necrosis. Yes, sir. understand. And then there will be a failure. So apart from whatever Dr. Gita said, this point is also you have to remember and write that. Okay. okay. Fine. I think everything is uh, covered in this. Okay, Paras, shall we go ahead? Yes, sir. Uh, who sir, is answering uh, now? Uh, Abhishek, sir. Dr. Abhishek. Sir. Okay. No, third. Uh, Abhishek sir. is answering? Yeah, sir. Dr. Ojas is not there. Okay. Fine, Abhishek. So we'll give you two minutes, okay?
ओके अभिषेक स्टार्ट सर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑफ पेट सिटी फॉर डायग्नोसिस ऑफ लिम्फ नोड स्प्रेड यस सर 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 सॉरी सर देयर इज अ फार्मूला आई एम अनेबल टू रिकॉल दैट फार्मूला सर राइट नाउ एंड सर बेस्ड ऑन दैट फार्मूला ओनली सर नेक्स्ट टू क्वेश्चंस कैन बी आंसर्ड सर व्हिच इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज मोर मोर सेंसिटिव पेट सिटी और सी सिटी एंड व्हिच इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज मोर सर i am unable to recall those sir uh, anyone uh, amit if you can answer on or... in specific you don't need that formula you see sensitivity is very simple if the disease is there which investigations find more diseases so like here we can see that out of 22 pet city finds 20 and c city finds only 17 so pet city is more sensitive which is more specific means when the disease is not there which diagnoses disease not there better so cct diagnoses disease not there better so it is more specific okay so uh, the formula for sensitivity is true positive upon true positive plus false negative and specificity is true negative uh, divided by true negative plus false positive okay okay fine i don't think anything any anything else is there in uh, this any other type of question which can be asked there can be po- yeah tell me okay uh, po- there can be positive and negative predictability value of the test the positive predictive value is defined by formula is true positive by true positive plus false positive a negative predictive value for the test can be defined by true negative divided by false negative plus true negative okay bharat thank you very much i think then uh, we'll go at the next because i i don't know what else to ask in this class so it's very specific bharat go ahead uh, dr yashir to answer the next question You are ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Answer. Uh, so the uh, first question uh, is the uh, what is the uh, renal nephrometry score? It comes around sir eight uh, P. Uh, second question is what is the appropriate surgical management in this case? Uh, uh so this comes as uh, in intermediate uh, complexity so the appropriate surgical management will be uh, partial nephrectomy uh third question what are the three important step uh, steps for achieving case case control and nephro case i think cancer control and nephron sparing sir 
Uh, so the important uh, three steps will be sir uh, uh, hilar dissection, uh, 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 clamping, and sir. Uh, uh, tumor resection oh, and fourth uh, uh, regarding the clamping we can mention sir uh, uh, hilar dissection second we can clamping at ischemia time and fourth we can mention as uh, the tumor resection so you mean you what you mean is the margin What do you mean is the margin? Sorry, sir. Margin, sir. So you, you know, tumor resection means the what? What do you mean by that? Uh, uh, so complete uh, tumor resection. Uh, so you want the margins negative? Yes, sir. Uh, to get that uh, negative margin, sir. Fine. Okay. So let us. Again, go from question to question. So, what is the renal nephrometry score? So, just tell us two uh, or three different uh, nephrometry. Sir. And uh, in one this, is the, how you calculate it. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, first just, is the just name the three and the one which you are. Listen, listen. Just tell us the three okay. and uh, the one which you are going to use. Tell us the score, how you calculate it. Uh, Sir, one is the renal score, mm. R E N A L renal score. Mm. Uh, second is the sir, uh, uh, part was score. Mm. Uh, third is sir, uh, DAP score. We have sir, C index, okay. uh, modified C index, and ABC score. Sir. Okay, so now you are talking about renal score, correct? The renal score, yes, sir. Yeah, so tell us. Uh, sir, in uh, renal score, we first is the R. R means size of the tumor. So mm. we give uh, points like 1, 2, and 3. So less than 4 centimeters, uh, 4 to 7 centimeters, and greater than centimeter, uh, 7 centimeters. Mm. And mm. second thing is the sir, exophytic component. So exophytic greater than 50%, less than 50%, and... Uh, uh, third is endophytic only, and uh, 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 third is the nearness to the collecting system. Uh, so it is greater than seven centimeters, four to seven centimeters, centimeter? seven uh, millimeters, mm. millimeter, sorry, sir. Mm. and uh, less than four mm. Sir. And uh, a fourth component is anteriorly whether the tumor is anteriorly that we uh, uh, designate as A. Or it is posteriorly that we designate as P. And the last one is the sir, uh, location of the tumor in relation to the uh, polar lines. So one will be above the tumors, uh, polar lines. Uh, two points will be given to the crossing the polar lines. And third will be uh, crossing uh, the polar lines more than 50% or the tumor lies in between the two polar lines. Okay, so now tell us the score in this case. Uh, in this case, first, uh, first is the size of the tumor that is already mentioned as uh, uh, four centimeters. So the uh, score will be two. One or two? Two, sir. Uh, four to seven will be, sir, in the two only. So it is four only, na? Achha, you want four to seven. More than yes, four sir. or even the four is included? Uh, sir, less than four is one only. Four to seven. Uh, okay, is, sir. Uh, sir, okay, uh, sorry is... to interrupt, sir. I yeah, tell doubt, us. Sir, uh, sir uh, when, uh, when we calculate R for radius, sir, the dimensions given here are four by four by 3.6. So, sir, should we assume the 4 centimeter as the diameter also we divided by 2 and then take no, it, it as four. radius. Maximum, whatever maximum is there. Maximum. Yeah. 
ओके देन सेकंड सर सेकंड इज द एक्सोफिटिक कंपोनेंट सो इन दिस केस इट लुक्स लेस देन 50 परसेंट बिकॉज सर इन द इमेज in the first image it looks endophytic only but in the uh, uh, this uh, coronal view uh, there is a component which is exophytic so it comes in between being exophytic completely and endophytic so the score will be 2 only okay then and uh, so third will be n nearness to the collecting system uh, so uh, actually sir in this uh, we cannot on on this film only we cannot make out whether it is uh, 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 4 mm or uh, more than 7 mm so i average have uh, taken it as maybe between 4 to 7 mm no 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 it is almost i i been say uh, not very sure but it is almost uh, entering into the uh, pelvic canal like the canal cell system it is not very clear but it is so you can put it as a two also fine then okay. third uh, fourth so then whether it is anteriorly or posteriorly is posteriorly long So the image is actually not that clear, but uh... see, as someone has said very rightly, because there is an amateur, it is involving, so it is score three only. Fine. Then anterior posterior may be little difficult okay, to. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then anterior or posterior. And uh, so between the polar Please lines. Around these two things. it is almost like a hilum only and last one is the sir uh, location in relation to the polar so, hmm. okay yes sir so it will again go to the three on you sir okay fine so now that last question what are the Ten three minutes. important step for achieving case control and nephron sparing Uh, sir, uh, first is the uh, hilar dissection, hilum dissection. Hmm. Uh, uh, second will be sir uh, clamping. So in hilum dissection, which are the in the hilum dissection, which are the structures? So uh, renal artery and renal vein, sir. Only that much. Uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, ureter of course ureter and pelvis is very important uh, and gonadal vein sir okay. and you have to like it there is no question so that is one so you yes. will like it the gonadal vessel and you will have a good control including artery yes. vein and also on the ureter and pelvis that you have to dissect and you have to separate out second thing okay second thing is sir uh, uh, uh first will be the sir uh, scoring of the tumor identification and uh, uh, scoring of second, second thing is proper dissection so yes, that sir. you are able to mobilize the full lower pole and also the part of the upper pole right Uh, because uh, the tumor is uh, close to the high limb, so because you want to see the all sides of the tumor. Tumor, yes. Sir. Your human face return. Fine. Okay. Then uh, after the uh, scoring of the tumor. Uh, so then the uh, clamping. So uh, what? The... But saying that it is going inside. Okay. So you want yes, to sir. achieve, and it is patient has got see. There are three important things. It is very near to the hilum. 
patient has got hematuria yes. so there is involvement of the uh, pelvic cell system right correct yes. so what else you want to do so you want yes. to get a good margin no. so you mm -hmm. and it is in the end of it so what any instrument you will use during surgery mm -hmm. so in this case i will say that first of all i like to put the uretic catheter okay. number 1 then hyler dissection okay. Yes, with sir. the ureter and pelvis also to be dissected well good control of the vascular structure yes then for operative ultrasound ultrasound okay you want to know na yes sir yeah and at the end you will put after closure of the Cholesterol system. You will put the methylene blue Methyl or betadine. Betadine. And see whether it flows it properly or not. Leaks or not? Yes. Fine. Okay. Yes. My sir. Sir, do you want to add something to this? Or don't you think? Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Okay, Paras. What is now? Last one, or it is over? so this is the last one okay yes sir yes sir i give you 2 minutes and then you answer mm Yes, sir. You are ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Yes, sir. Good. And hello, uh, answer. So this is this is an MRI scan. The... Uh, the first question is uh, which of these is the uh, D two?
background noise is there uh, second second image in the tv screen yeah sir something is wrong lot of uh, lot of noise is there So the second image looks to be the T2 image uh, because on the second image looks to be the uh, T2 image uh, because on T2 image. Uh, so actually there is a lot of noise. <laughs> What is the likely diagnosis? Go on the second one. We'll ask for the second one. I can make on the second image, but uh, this looks to be an adrenal mass. Adrenal mass. Uh, how will you confirm the diagnosis, sir? Uh, uh, we can ask for the, uh, sir, uh, metanephrine, uh, serum metanephrine and uh, non metanephrine. Uh, Uh, cortisol uh, to see the functionality of the tumor. Sir. Uh, answer. Uh, hello. Uh, so then, uh, third question is: How will you prepare the patient for the surgery? Uh, so. Uh, if uh, this uh, the diagnosis uh, the metanephrine non metanephrine come out to be positive uh, then uh, we need to prepare the patient uh, for the uh, this uh, preoperative preparation in view of uh, pheochromocytoma uh, so that will be done by uh, doing the alpha blockade कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉक आप सो वी है Uh, that's how uh, we will prepare the patient for the surgery, sir. Okay, Abhishek, you yes, answer. Sir. Can you answer uh, all the four? Then we'll yes, sir. Sir, first here. of all, yes, sir. First yeah. of all, uh, sir, which of these is a T two image, sir? Uh, most probably, image A is a T two image, sir. Uh, because, sir, of two things. Uh, because on T two image, fluid uh, lights up, or any fluid will light up on T two image. and uh, sir the adrenals are showing a typical uh, light bulb sign on t2 image sir so this prob- may probably be a case of uh, the second question what is the likely diagnosis uh, sir most probably it may be a bilateral pheochromocytoma sir and uh, how will you confirm the diagnosis sir to begin with sir uh, we'll do a contrast and a ct scan to find out the to begin with sir starting from the starting to find out the functionality sir whether it is at all functioning or non functioning so that will depend on the washout of the contrast and uh, sir the relative uh, retention of the contrast sir so if it is functioning sir then we will proceed according to the uh, uh, what 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 uh, functioning uh, uh, malab uh, what ty- what what type of functioning tumor it is sir if uh, sir uh, we can do 24 hours uh, uh, urinary uh, cat- uh, f- uh, cortisol sir uh, late night salivary cortisol sir or sir uh, uh, late night salivary cortisol levels can be done sir for uh, uh, few to rule out pheochromocytoma sir uh, uh, 24 hours uh, plasma free metanephrine or urinary fractionated metanephrine can be done sir or chromogranin a studies can be done sir chromogranin a assay can be done 
and uh, sir uh, mineralocorticoids is usually not done until unless uh, there is hypertension sir and uh, yes yes sir and uh, how to prepare the patient sir there will be uh, two options to prepare the patient sir like uh, first is uh, first af after giving adequate alpha blockade then beta blockade is given followed by uh, catecholamine uh, synthesis inhibitors in the form of metyrosine sir and uh, along with that sir uh, calcium channel blockers are given and uh, along with that sir preloading of fluids uh, during the preoperative period, one or two days uh, before the surgery is also given sir because uh, after adrenalectomy sir there may be loss of fluid and sir patient can go into dehydration hyponatremia etc sir so fluid loading is given and uh, sir the other option is only uh, uh, catecholamine synthesis inhibitor in the form of metyrosine sir 250 mg i think and uh, sir calcium channel blocker sir in the form of amlodipine sir uh, so the, this this is how we will prepare the patient for surgery sir So, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, T1, T1 weighted images means only hi highlighting of the fat. T2 weighted images means highlighting of fat as well as liquid or water inside the body. Correct? Yes. So, the T2 weighted image, there should be highlighting of the fat as well as water inside the body. That yes. is called as T2 weighted image. What is the likely diagnosis? Bilateral pheochromocytoma, you told. How will you confirm the diagnosis? So here the question is pertaining to the only pheochromocytoma. Okay, sir. So you, you, your, your question is related to the pheochromocytoma. So CT and plasma normatonephrine is the only answer. Okay, sir. Take it. Third, how will you prepare whatever you are told that is okay for preparation, preoperative preparation? Alpha blockade followed by beta blockade followed by preoperative admission, then hydration, loading, intraoperative, anti-J drip, post-operative complications ke treatment. So, I'm going to tell you about it. So, I'm going to tell you about it. If you have any extra time, you can tell me about it. Okay, sir. Yes. So, it's a good thing. So, if you have any time, you can tell me about it. So, if you have any time, you can tell me about it. Right, sir. Okay, Amit is asking some uh, one question: stag and stag repair. So stag, rep stag and stag repair is it is a strengthening, straightening of the penis. It's called as a st st straightening. St then and A is for and and C is for cover, or G is for graft. So it is a stag or stag repair. S T A G or S T A C. It is usually done for the hypospadias with severe cordy. Okay. So if you stag means using of the grafts. So graft can be uh, buccal mucosa graft, graft can be uh, vaginal mucosa graft, graft can be uh, some um, bladder mucosa graft, graft can be prepucial graft. So any graft. So graft can be inlay. So graft, graft can be made into the tube. So graft can be used as only. Yes. So straightening. The patient having a quality made straighten, straightened by either a ventral carporotomy or dorsal plication. Or ventral excision and graft. Correct. Yes, so straight, straightening is one part of that stag or stag and second part is either <coughs> made surgery one stage one stage surgery is made using the graft or the flaps like coanagi repair is stag coanagi and hasheni repair is stag one stage penile skin tube stag decade stag graft node graft node graft is stag Amit. Yes, sir. I have understanding. So this type of repairs is the one stage repair for patient having a severe quality with any uh, any place hyperspidus. That is distal penile, mid penile, proximal penile, kuch bhi So quality correction karne ka ek part hai. A dusra part mm -hmm. is single stage mein usko cover karne ka. Yes. Thik. Apne pocha tha, isle mm -hmm. mani. 
बोल दिए कंफ्यूजन क्लियर हो गया होगा शायद लेकिन टैग और स्टैग बिल्कुल बोलना नहीं है ये पेशेंट में पर्टिकुलरली रूटीनली डन होने वाली सब सर्जरी है वो है स्नोड ग्रास रिपेयर दूसरा है स्टेज रिपेयर स्टेज रिपेयर कहीं पे भी बोलो कुछ भी नहीं समझा तो कम से कम स्टेज रिपेयर बोलो वो, वो सब लोग एक्सेप्ट करेंगे कोई कोई नॉट एक्सेप्ट करने का कोई प्रॉब्लम